Hey guys, this is Darth Bandigo with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 video. This one I'm playing on Village and ended up going 27-9. Some pretty good gameplay for me. I'm using the MK14. It's it's not very good at first. I kind of kind of it takes me a while to get into it and whatnot. But over the gameplay it gets really good towards the end of the game. Oh, I do amazing. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this one I kind of want to talk about hardcore, both in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, kind of comparing them. Now, in both of them, you get a lot of games where it's just campers, 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 and it's so annoying. I, I know, you know, you're supposed to be more careful in hardcore just because, you know, you, but really... Personally, I think in hard, if you're playing a hardcore game, it sh you should treat it the same as a team deathmatch. It's a regular team deathmatch game. The only difference is you're dying. You die a lot easier, and you have a respawn time timer. So, honestly, yeah, you want to be a little bit more careful. But I hate the people that just sit there and camp in the little corner with you know an assault rifle or an LMG. So annoying. It totally makes it so you don't want to play hardcore and it's so much worse than black ops black ops is terrible i mean oh man i'm doing terrible right there <laughs> and i get assist but anyways black ops is horrible i mean sometimes you'll get a couple good games but when i f first started playing hardcore in black ops it was great you know people are you know just running around you know being aggressive and that kind of thing that's that's how hardcore should be played you shouldn't be camping in a corner for the entire freaking map you know, entire freaking game. You know, for you know, ten minutes of the whole ten minutes, and you're camping in like a few spots around the entire map. It's pretty dumb. I mean, it's it makes it stupid. I mean, I can't tell you. The other day, I, I was trying to play Black Ops, trying to play a hardcore game, and oh, that was pretty ridiculous. He was able to switch guns before. Ah, that pissed me off. Ugh. But anyways. Uh, I went through five different games in Black Ops. I entered a game, played about a minute, and all I ran into is a bunch of campers, so I quit. I did that five times, and I was like, okay, screw this, so I, I switched to Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 3, I don't think it's gotten to that phase where, you know, people are just going to be camping. There's, it's transitioning. There's Black Ops, I, mi I must have missed that transition, because I don't, I don't play a lot of hardcore. But mainly because, and not mainly because it's just you know you get it's you get a lot slower paced games and it's quite frankly not as fun. But I think Modern Warfare 3 is starting to get into that transition phase where you know pretty much everybody that plays hardcore is going to start just camping in one spot in the whole game and it's it it's really sad because hardcore is awesome. It just sucks that people have to ruin it by just camping for the entire game. So, but Modern Warfare 3 at this point, you still get most of the games, you're, most people are staying aggressive, you get a few campers here and there, but at this point, the only thing that's really, you know, ruining the gameplay in, in Hardcore and Modern Warfare 3 is the fact that people use their noob tubes. No, oh, it's so annoying, it's so annoying when you're running around the map and then somebody runs around the corner with a freaking RPG and just... Yeah, like that guy. It's, I'm not playing hardcore right now, but you get people like that. They run with a freaking RPG. Oh, hold on. This is amazing right here. Oh, amazingness. Oh, amazingness. Oh, I was... Holy crap, I did not expect... Because there was only two guys on the screen, so I was like, oh, okay. And then again, multi kills. Oh, I was amped. So amped. But anyways, um, yeah. Noob tubing in hardcore should be illegal. I mean, they should just not let you have any kind of explosive weapon. You know, grenades are one thing. But when you're, you know, using a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher of some sort, it's so stupid. And I think they should limit air support in hardcore. Or, you know, or change it up. Air support needs to be changed either way. Because when you get, you know, freaking pavlos and choppers and that kind of stuff, and they last for like a freaking minute. That is so long. I mean, that's one one chopper can be the game changer. I'm sucking it up right there. But anyways, I mean, that's air support needs to be changed, and you should not be able to have any kind of explosive weapons in hardcore because it ruins the game. It really does. You know, having grenades is one thing, but you know, noob tubing, 
you know, using grenade launchers and rocket launchers or, you know, javelins or whatnot. It's, it's so dumb. It's ridiculous. I mean, I can't tell you how stupid it is because it's, you know, the, that's the crappy thing about, you know, noob tubing is you get, you know, one person that's, you know, noob tubing and hardcore and it totally ruins the game. So, but... You know, if they could just get rid of that, hardcore would be awesome. I do like the fact that in Modern Warfare 3, they have the ricochet on, so if you do shoot a teammate, or flash a teammate, or, or grenade a teammate, it kills you instead of killing them. So when you get retards that, you know, are throwing flash grenades kind of in your direction, or at you purposely, or trying to shoot you purposely, they, you know, they're the ones that, you know, you know get hurt, or get killed, or whatnot, or get flashed. In Black Ops, it's really annoying when... You know, you're you're going along and some teammate flashes you, or your teammate kills you, and it's just like, oh, you idiot. Because cause especially if you're on like a you know an awesome kill streak, you know you're getting you're getting close to your you know good kill streak, and all of a sudden, boom, your teammate kills you, and you're just, it's gone. It's like, well, that's stupid. No, oh, here comes a second. Oh, another thing. Final stand. Get rid of that. Get rid of that in hardcore. That's stupid. It's so dumb. Cause it cause in hardcore. You know, it's boom, psh, 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 you know, a couple, you know, one or two pistol shots and you're dead. So, and, oh, another thing, Type 95, get rid of that. You know, that's a that's a stupid gun to have in, in hardcore, because, you know, any real gamer that plays Modern Warfare 3, you know, any hardcore gamer, just, Type 95 is the cheapest gun in the game, followed by dual FMGs, and even though I'm using it, the MK14 is pretty dang cheap. Um, just because you can shoot, you know, like eight shots in once, but basically it's the best sniper in the game. But anyways, um, I think that's getting pretty close to wrapping up here. Again, I go 27 to 9 on Village. It's a pretty good time, and there's the game-winning kill cam, and this guy was pretty pissed that I was using the MK14, but, you know, I don't use that often, but every once in a while I get on a roll, and I'm like, hey! Uh, but anyways, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're going to more of this, more Minecraft videos. But anyways... Thank you. Please subscribe. Have a great day, guys.